everyone, my name is Hayley Louise and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a quick tutorial on this look. It is pretty darn simple. It's just basically like dark brown lip and kind of goldy orangey toned eyes for you for the Christmassy, autumnal, warmer weather. So I hope you really enjoy. Keep watching if you want to know how I achieved this. So as you can see, I have already applied my foundation and contour and all of that sort of stuff to so just skip that and get it out of the way. Um, but if you would like to see like a whole foundation routine, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I can do that for you. For foundation, I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Ecru and the Makeup Academy MUA Hide and Seek, Hide and Seek, it's not Hide and Seek, hide and conceal concealer in fair so let's let's get a move so i'm going to be starting off by doing my eyes and getting those out of the way because that's what takes the longest but not really i'm using the beauty factories palette um and it is the one with all of these sort of colors in but any one will do i'm not all about brands as long as it's the same color or similar then you know all good so we are going to be going like with the orangey tones today, but I'm going to start off with sort of a tan base colour. This one is going to be matte and I'm going to place that all the way over the bottom of my eyelid and just a little bit up into the crease and beyond. Now going back into the palette, I'm going to add a little bit of texture with this colour here, which is a very coppery, this is a very well loved palette, a very coppery medium brown. I'm not going to even bother swapping brushes, I am just literally going to go straight in with the same brush that I used and I'm going to concentrate that in the outer corner, the outer V of the eye and a little bit up higher than the crease. All our spells, use your fingers. So now we have put down the base for the eyes, it's time to go back into the orange. I am going to take this real salmon, or this like orangey salmon colour down the bottom here. And yes, I am going to put the brush down for this. I'm just going to go straight in with my finger and we're going to dab a little bit of that on. This is a really, really nice kind of shimmery it almost looks rose gold I'm just going to pop that onto the center of the eyelid and then again just blend it out with your fingers at the end or a brush you can use whatever you want so now we're going to go in underneath our eyes and like join up the outside so again I'm going back to that sort of mid brownie tone with a little bit of shimmer in I'm gonna pack that on to a tiny little brush and I'm gonna run that all the way along my eyelids just before my tear ducts start. Now there is one thing that I love about this palette is because underneath the eyeshadows is a full contour and blusher set so this is really awesome. If you put a uh, search in Beauty Factories palette on eBay or Amazon some places like that this should pop up and the, it's, it's basically everything you need to, you know, paint by numbers on your face. Next up, we are going to add some blush. I'm going into the same palette and I'm going to go for these sort of like peachy, these two tones here with a little bit of this one mixed in. So I want to make this, it's kind of like I'd say a, a corally colour blusher. We want it more a little bit on the orangey side uh, than we do pink because you want to keep it so kind of all in the same blusher is now applied right back to the eyeball so now I'm just going to create a wing probably a little bit further like meeting this eyeshadow here um, just a little thin one just 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 a little something something and I am using the photo angle pure pigment gel liner by Smashbox which is that one bar I think this one is just jet black isn't it yeah just jet black I really like this as well because it's got a twisty lid on so just, you know, FYI, if you are carrying this around in your handbag, you know for definite that it's not going to go everywhere. Oh, 
also I'm not taking it all the way into my eye, I'm probably just going like to the outside bit of your eye, like the first third of the outside of your eye if that makes any sense. Every girl's worst nightmare when you're doing your makeup. Will the wings match? Probably not. So once you've struggled with your eyeliner for a little bit, you should have something that near enough Near enough looks like this. So next for the lashes, I'm going to curl them really, really quickly, and then I am using the Scandalized Rimmel London Scandalized Mascara, which is this one here. I do love this mascara. It really, really does hold up well in the winter months. They also do have a waterproof version, but be warned, it is very tricky to get off. So that is mascara all done. I did apply a couple of layers because I am a mascara fiend. So now let's sort out my near enough non-existent eyebrows. I am just going to fill in my eyebrows super quick with the, oh it's all come off the front, the Makeup Revolution Ultra Brow Professional Kit in medium to dark. Just fill in your eyebrows however you want. So I'm going to do that and then I'll. Okay, so now I am back. I have eyebrows. The only last thing that I'm going to do is there is a beautiful, beautiful under eye highlight in here, so I am just going to literally take my little finger, dab a little bit of that on, and I'm just going to pop that just underneath my brow bone. I'm just going to pop that in the inner corners of my eyes also. The very last step to finishing off my eyes is just adding something in the waterline. I just like a cream or a white cold crayon to just open up your eyes and make you look bright eyed and bushy tailed. I am using a coal eyeliner in cream or ivory even from Primark and I'm just going to pop that in now. Okay so we are completely and utterly done with the eyes now. My favourite bit next, highlighter. So again, I'm using another Makeup Revolution product. It is the Makeup Revolution Highlight Palette. This is in, what is this? Oh, it just says highlight. I don't know, there mustn't be any other ones. Uh, these three shades here, they are all equally beautiful. I don't have a favorite, so do you wanna know what I do? And then just slap it on, slap it on. I'm gonna apply it to my cheekbones, down the middle of my nose, my cupid's bow. So let's get crooning. Last but not least is the lips. So you can use whatever color you want, whatever tone you want. I just thought they're really nice, like strong burgundy kind of color would go with this. This is, this is another Primark one. This is the Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon in brown. These are so, so simple and easy to use because it is literally just, you just draw it on your mouth. Um, I do find with these though that they do bleed a little bit. I'm just gonna go in first with a brown, ready brown lip liner and I'm just gonna line my lips. Okay, so once you're done with your lip liner, fill in with whatever burgundy lipstick of your preference. And that is it, guys. We have a very sort of like orangey, goldy looking eye, um, tons of highlighter and a dark lip. If any of you guys attempt this look, I know it's very, very basic, but you know, I think it's nice. I think you can wear it so like for any occasion. This would be just great if you just want to be a little bit more dressy up. Um, I think everyone just likes to do a little bit something different uh, this time of year, just in the daytime, because why not? It's nearly Christmas, so the sparkles will be out soon. So just, you know, build yourself up to this. This is a nice like medium ground, I think. So thank you for watching if you have made it this far to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the makeup, if you would like to see more tutorials um, or request to do certain looks or certain ideas, then I would be happy to oblige. Hope you're having a lovely day or evening, whatever it is. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. I am doing Vlogmas as well, so there are lots of videos coming your way just before the festivities of Christmas and New Year arrive. As always, all of my social media stuff is just in the description box below. And... I shall see you guys very, very soon. Bye.
<sighs> so to start off, I'm going to um, let's just let the hair. So I really enjoy it. So where's my blusher brush? Oh, it's over there. Right, moment of truth. I'll be using this colour down here. I'm also going to take that colour and just pop it into the middle bits of the middle bits of my eyes. Lip colour pen, lip colour, lip. 